Hi, and in this video, I'm back in London. Yes, I'm back in London. I've come to get my passport updated. Yes, I know I could go to the embassy and get it done, but it's nice to make the excuse to come back and I get the premium service. So I book it online, come into London from Reading by train, do the paperwork, wait four hours, and then go back and collect it. So what have I done in the four hours that I've been here on this visit? Well, I decided to come back to the place where I was born in West Kensington to visit the building where I lived for the first nine years of my life. And then I thought, well, I'll walk and see how my school is and also where my grandmother used to live so this video is all about me coming back to visit the area where I was born well I was born in London in a place called West Kensington and for the first nine years of my life we lived in London before moving out basically because I think the uh, rents of the flats at the time sorted to skyrocket and so my parents decided to move out uh, to a place called Hounslow which is now in the suburbs of Greater London but this is West Kensington as a young boy I, I had a tremendous amount of freedom I, I could walk around up to the age of nine in relative safety you wouldn't be allowed to do it today for example but we had a and there still is a railway station on the underground system you can get anywhere one grandmother one set of grandparents live not too far away and um, I'm gonna go down the route which I used to take with my parents especially my mother to go and visit my grandmother the other grandmother lived in the south of London but we used to go and see my 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 father's mum quite a lot um, it was a, a very short walk the buildings were I think it was still recovering from the Second World War so there were some very grandiose buildings that have been split up into apartments flats as we call them for people that had lost their homes I suppose during the war but then afterwards it took remember the United Kingdom over 30 years to recover I think properly from the Second World War and so as people started to get back on their feet as I say the, the prices the rental prices went up and my dad was a policeman at the time yes he had a regular salary but it wasn't all that brilliant but there were allowances available if he wanted to buy his own house and that's why he moved out today coming back in a way it's still like I'd never left in one sort of emotion on the other emotion it's more of how things have changed this area now of West Kensington is definitely multicultural and I think that's a great thing walking around here listening to the different languages the different accents seeing people dressed in all different manners I think is really cool for for Britain and and especially for London. Another thing I'm very surprised with is the, the amount of traffic. I always remember it being full of cars and full of people. And although today is a Thursday and it's around midday time, there doesn't seem to be too much of that. So I don't know whether I've just caught the day when there's no traffic and no people running around everywhere or what, but that has been something that has had a, a bit of an impact on me today. But it is very chilly as well. So maybe sensible people are, are inside watching TV and gathered around whatever heating system they've got. I also thought there was going to be more in the way of development and there is but not as I expected it I thought you know there'd be new buildings built and all the rest of it but actually these large houses that have been split up to flats all the years ago when I was a kid here are now coming back to these single family buildings and they must cost an absolute mint where my grandmother used to live is now a building site I still remember it as if it was yesterday but it does to me now look completely different I don't know what they're going to do with these buildings but it is a total building site it looks totally chaotic and maybe they're going to renovate these buildings into luxury apartments or whatever I have got no clue at all but you know I walked in and I thought yeah I can almost imagine my grandmother waiting at the door of her flat it just looks completely sad to what I remember it but remember it I do the noise of children screaming and playing in a playground is from the school that I went to my first ever school Avonmore Road School and I've managed to take some video from the outside it was a long sort of like prefabricated building but I went and asked the people in reception if I could do some filming outside the school because filming with children around can be very sensitive Kerry Wilson was in reception and she's gonna see if there's anything about me in the school archives if there is I'm gonna make a video about that or at least I'll tell you about that but she said that the school was actually built in 1948 and not much of it had changed all I could observe was the outside of the building along Avonmore Road which you can see now and I have to say apart from the bushes nothing really has changed so that's it from me and West Kensington where I was born and grew up for the first nine years of my life I know the video has been a little bit uh, indulgent but it might give you a little bit of a background of who I am as an Englishman in the Balkans this park is now called Marcus Garvey Park 
wasn't called that when I was a boy, but maybe because there's been lots of Afro-Caribbean people in this area, which is neat that they've left um, their mark. If you like the video, please do uh, share, like and comment on it. Do subscribe and do bang that bell, that notification bell, so that you get notified every time we publish a new video. Now I'm going to go and pick my passport up, get on the tube, uh, spend the rest of my uh, visit here. I've got some things to do with my family and I'll catch you here, most probably with Tamara, on the next one. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe.